cruising down the street in my six four. Just like that, somebody turned off the rain and the sun come out. I'm your huckleberry. <clears throat> hey everybody, you don't know me, but I'm on TV, so you can trust me. Welcome to the This Is Tampa podcast with Rob and Jen. Because we have a special Saturday episode going on today, so we're going to be mixing up a couple cocktails. Special standing episode too. Yes. Standing. A standing episode. We're vertical in this one. Yes. Standing, sipping, <laughs> Saturday episode. Yeah. Something new. <laughs> but before we start working on this, what are we going to talk about today, Rob? We're going to, well, we're going to make drinks, right? We're going to make oh, some yeah, drinks. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to make some drinks. Uh-huh. Uh, we got our non-Florida man story, which is actually like, in this case, a it's happening in Nevada. Ooh. But there's probably a lot of people from Florida going, so yes. I, yes. I don't know. Uh, but I'm we got sure. that. We got an Florida man, sorry. But we want to talk about um, realtor safety. Yes. Uh, today we're going to dive in a little bit. This is Realtor Safety Month, it's the month of September. So we felt it was appropriate mm -hmm. to, to discuss that. And uh, okay, we're going to talk about some events for the weekend. Mm -hmm. um, Talk about what we've been doing this week, restaurant of the week, you know, the usual stuff. So, talk about Thursday night football. Okay. No, not so much. I don't know about that. <laughs> there wasn't but... much to talk about. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I didn't know. So yeah, good. It was terrible. <laughs> Perfect. So we won't talk about that. All right. But it is the opening weekend of uh, NFL football. Yes, it is. So, so go Bucks. Get your. Got to cheer for our, our local team here. Yeah, yeah you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's start making some drinks first. <laughs> All right. We'll bring so. It in. Okay, so I found this really cool cookbook when I went to the Blind Tiger Cafe. It's called Tampa's Table, and it has all sorts of recipes from the Tampa Bay area restaurants. Um, so of course I went to the drink section for today, and I found Sally O'Neill's Pizza, which is a great pizza place in uh, the South Howard Avenue area. Um, they've been there for about 35 years. They make delicious pizza with all natural ingredients, so if you haven't been there, you've got to try it. So they've got a peach bellini. We're gonna go ahead and try to recreate it. I don't know how good it's gonna turn out, but we're gonna try here. Better be good. I, got, I only got one backup beer. Oh no, the pressure is on. So we're gonna start with some Prosecco. And it says we fill the glass all the way to the top. Do you drink a lot of Prosecco, Rob? No, I can't say that I do. No, okay, well, here we go. Um, and then we're gonna, uh, let's see, top with peach nectar. I could not find peach nectar today, so we're gonna try peach schnapps and see what happens. So we're gonna see. This, uh, yeah, we'll see. Let's see how this turns out. <laughs> we'll see, All it's right. gonna be peachy. So then we need to squeeze a fresh lemon. So here we go, give it a squeeze. Um, let's see, and then garnish with a lemon slice and some fresh mint, so here we go. All right, Rob, I hope you're ready for this. Ooh, look at that bubble. Uh, lemon slice. There we go. This is a pretty simple recipe here. It is, that's why I chose it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Try to keep it simple here on this, our standing Saturday. All right, so. It looks light and refreshing though. It does. I must say. Look how cute these look. Oh my God. Even if they don't taste good, they look so cute. So cheers, Rob. Let's see what the verdict is. All right. You don't want to see my face in it. Oh, it's good. What do you think? Is it too girly for you? <laughs> I'm, I'm, you don't I'm want still... to see his face right now. <laughs> He's got like that lemon pucker face I'm, right now. I'm debating. <laughs> it's debatable. Well, I, you still have your beer I'm, and more prosecco. It's for not me. as it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay. No, I don't know well, if that's I'll give it start, that. but... Yeah, it's not as bad. Well, thank you, Let's Sally O'Neill's, for sharing your recipe. Yeah. Um, I like it a lot. It's so fizzy. It's fizzy, and I'll keep drinking it. I like it, so... Yeah, I want to get more... I want to get more of that mint in there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mint. So let's go into this um, non-Florida man story here. Mm. Yeah. Non-Florida man. So... What do we got today? By now, wow, that's... 
all right, pardon me. By now, <laughs> everybody knows about the Area 51 raid. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So there's like two million people opting to go. Oh my goodness. And it's, so well, tell us what, what is the Area 51 raid about? Well, uh, basically this guy started it, as he says, as a joke mm -hmm. on uh, Facebook, make it a oh. Facebook event. Uh -huh. And he got two million oh my. people saying that they're going to go. You know, and it became a big, uh, a big to do. Wow. Uh, there's another million and a half interested <laughs> in going. <laughs> wow. Uh, and it's scheduled to be the September 20th through the 22nd. Oh, that's coming up. So the whole thing is they can't stop us all. So they want to get everybody oh there and then bum rush. Oh my goodness. Uh, where it says we will shoot and kill you if you enter this area. <laughs> that's so, very safe. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they figured they can't shoot and kill them all, but no. they, they probably really could if they wanted to. They probably. Drop a you know, carpet bomb them or whatever. Yeah, you are messing with the military, but, so I wouldn't yeah. suggest that. Uh, so it's, not, it's probably not a good idea. So, no, I wouldn't suggest it, no. Uh, recently, there's been some news stories because you know a few counties are coming out and, and warning people. Oh, the uh, counties are warning people? Yeah, not to Ooh. not to come out because there's not going to be any water in many cases. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, cell phone service. Oh, because all people are going to be using it. Uh, yeah, it'll be overwhelmed. They don't have the... Oh, no. They don't have the facilities to, yeah. to handle all this stuff. Oh, my gosh. All those poor people living <laughs> in that town. Oh. <laughs> those people... Yeah, they're probably getting the hell out of town. Yeah, they're, they're probably gonna I would go. Maybe they'll. If, if you're out there and you're from this town, like, mm -hmm. you know, come down to Florida. Yeah, come on down. For uh, the weekend. Get yourself uh, an Airbnb. Yeah, Airbnb. Maybe buy a house. I don't know. Yeah, maybe you like it. Won't want to go back. Yeah. Just in case they, you know, decide to make this like a yearly thing where they go into the to do that. Oh lord. But it sounds like it's, uh, you know, it's kind of like. Uh, Oh, they, they talk about the gridlock and traffic. They don't have oh, the, the emergency response services. Oh, no. Like people, yeah. They're going to need that, too, because these people storming Area 51, so, I don't think they're going to last too long. No. <laughs> so, Everybody unfortunately. Gonna be, it's it's going to be like a giant uh, Woodstock, know. you know, for aliens. Yeah. Kind of. So. Well, that'll be interesting to tune into when it, when it happens on the news. Yeah, I'm gonna down. I'm gonna watch it from, yeah. from here. <laughs> I think I will too. I I'm interested in knowing if there's aliens there, but I, you right. know, you go find yeah, out. Like, let me know. Yeah, no, let me know how you make out. <laughs> I'll be drinking my Bellini. Yeah, I'll be on the on the couch watching, just from afar. <laughs> Safe and sound. I like it. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. There's another non-Florida man story. Although, so, uh -huh. you know, I'm sure there's you know. There's, out of the two million people, there's yeah. probably only like a million Floridians going. Probably. <laughs> a million Florida men. Unfortunately, mans. there's probably quite a few Floridians going, so you all be safe, <laughs> please. Yeah, if you're going, you know, just make sure that, you know, you're, if you own property that you've already mm -hmm. like left it to somebody or worked out <laughs> those details and who gets the property. Right. Just in case, you know. You never know. Yeah, you don't make it out of there no. alive. So. I don't know how that's going to turn out for you, but good luck. <laughs> well, I will say a good Florida man story I saw this week um, in regards to Hurricane Dorian. Um, I know it totally demolished the Bahamas, which is so mm -hmm. sad. Um, and we're all praying for everyone down there. It was heartbreaking to watch yeah. um, as it just sat over that poor chain of islands for a long time, a couple days, I think. Um, there is a Florida man that went to one of his local stores and bought every single generator in the entire store and had them all shipped down to the Bahamas to help the people down there. So I thought that was worth noting because, you know, it's a good Florida man story yeah. for you. No, I'm change. sure there's going to be a, a, a few of those uh, being yeah. that, you know, we're so close to the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Probably uh, easier to get there from, from here. Yeah. Uh, I saw a story this morning where they were, I think it was Carnival or something, was mm -hmm. filling the boat with nurses and, you know, mm -hmm. emergency response people. And, bringing it down there. Yeah, Carnival, Royal Caribbean too. They're sending a whole ship down there to help out with supplies. And it's there's a, lots of... Uh, seems like Elka <laughs> I'm literally, it's like a burp magnet. I, I keep on... Uh, 
Don't, don't buy Rob a Prosecco if you ever see him at the bar. You can buy one for me all day long. I'll, I'll drink it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm but, continuing to drink it because it's alcohol and it's, it's here. <laughs> and it's Saturday. <laughs> but yes, everyone in the Bahamas, we're praying for you. Um, and there's tons of causes going on in the Tampa area right now for donation drives. Um, we're very lucky it did not hit us and it did not hit Rob's prediction last week of well. Naples. <laughs> We missed it this time. I got a few kinks to work out, yeah. but you know, I think it's a solid system. I'm gonna yeah. give it another try eventually. <laughs> just keep trying. Yeah. It'll yeah. work out at some point. Yeah, just have to make some adjustments. Nothing's perfect when it comes out, <laughs> much like this podcast. <laughs> exactly. We're still oh, working the kinks it's out good. It's gonna get better, yeah. <laughs> Slowly. All right, well, so what else did you do this week? Did you uh, try any new places? Did you go anywhere? What else I did, did you actually. Week after the, uh, after the episode we filmed before, the prior oh. episode, uh, I went to the Fat Rabbit. Oh. Yeah, That's in a good New restaurant. Tampa, or Tampa Palms, really, mm -hmm. over at Brucey Downs. Uh, okay. And they had a peanut butter cup. Oh, uh, I see. Old that. fashioned. Yeah. Yeah. We need to share that on our new podcast yeah. Instagram page and Facebook page. Yeah, that thing is money. Anything peanut butter I like. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. there you go. You can goes. put peanut butter on anything else. I'll, I'll eat it. Did it taste like peanut butter? Like, or? Oh. It tasted, yeah, it tasted, it was dangerously good. Ooh. It was very peanut buttery. And it was a old fashioned. Yeah, it was smooth, really smooth. That's interesting. I'll have to try that one. Yeah, and then mm. I followed it with a peanut butter mm. uh, stout beer that Ooh. they had there. So do they have like all sorts of beers and stuff there? Oh, yeah, like a whole bunch of craft. Oh. Special craft beers. The place is neat. Yeah. They, uh, I think there's like an artist or something that works uh, there, owns it. I don't know, mm -hmm. but you can see like a lot of, uh, they, they do some chalk art for their menu board. and. Oh, that's really cool. Um, and you can tell the difference. There's two two menu boards that are both uh, like blackboards uh -huh. the chalk artwork was done on oh and it's slightly different like if you're looking at them oh. i don't know maybe it was after the maybe it was your peanut butter yeah <laughs> maybe it was the old-fashioned but i don't, don't know mind me. i have to go in there you're just I'm... gonna have to go back and check again you yeah, know yeah when i'm so just to find out i gotta go now and i just you got a little... this is typical my husband makes fun of me all the time because i spill everything a little out of hand there <laughs> just getting a little crazy well, that's really cool. Did you get anything to eat while you were there? Yes. What'd they you got, get? They got good wings. They're, they always get the wings. That they got good. pretzel. Like, Ooh. yeah. Pretzel is literally like this big. Oh my god, that sounds delicious. Yeah, and it comes with beer cheese and Ooh. spicy mustard. Oh my god. Yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah, it was good. That sounds delicious. <laughs> I know. Good. I've been there before, and every time I go, I get the mahi sandwich. It is so good. Oh, I don't really, there? yeah, I've been there maybe twice. Oh, Do a girls' night there with my girls. Um, yeah, the mahi sandwich there is really good. I think we've gotten like the tater tot appetizer. Do they have a tater tot appetizer there? I think they do. Oh, I always get the chicken wings or the. the chicken um, wings sound good. Mm -hmm. But I get something else once before, but I usually get the chicken wings. Yeah. I think I got a French dip sandwich or something. Ooh, that sounds good. Well, now I'm getting hungry. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Think about food again. Yeah. <laughs> Every time you get to go off the rails. Yes. Well, that's awesome. So if you haven't been to the Fat Rabbit in Tampa Palms, you have to try it. It's, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fat Rabbit is legit. Okay. I like it. Legit good. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so I went down to Dunedin this week a couple times. Um, there is, I gotta double check the name of it. <laughs> I went to a craft uh, brewery there once. That oh, was really did you? Good. You yeah. know, Dunedin is the home of craft brewery for Tampa. It says Dunedin. Says, well, yeah, it says Dunedin. <laughs> says Dunedin. Come here for beer. <laughs> but yeah, I just learned that. What did, how, where did you go? Do you remember? Oh, I don't know the name. Uh, I've seen it recently too. Uh -huh. well, I can't remember. It's a small place. They had a little courtyard, oh, but they cute. do the, They have the stills inside where they make the beer. Wow, that's really cool. It was good. Yeah. They, they, their house brew was, was good. Yeah. I like I like that. I like it. You know, 
if it's beer, uh, and especially craft beer, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm I got, I got a pretty wide palate. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm gonna try that. I was there on, on a weekday, so I did not know beer, um, but I did stop into a couple shops, um, and I did stop into a place called Harley's Popcorn. It was fascinating. You walk in, and it's just so beautiful. Um, they've got like like shiplap, like think um, Joanna Gaines style, you know, Joanna, Chip and Joanna, yeah, fixer upper doing. style. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they're raiding, uh, if they're going on the raid. Yeah. Chip seems like that kind of guy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Maybe you'll see him on the raid. Yeah. Um, but it was so pretty inside. And on the wall, they had two menus um, one was for like sweet types of popcorn, and one was for savory types of popcorn. And they had like buffalo wing popcorn, they had key lime popcorn, they had like a mocha caramel popcorn. It was really cool. They had a lot of popcorn. They had a lot of popcorn. <laughs> and they make their own uh, lemonade cider. So I had a glass of that, and I got a couple popcorns to give away as gifts. Um, so it was really cool. It yeah. was a really nice little spot. So if you're ever in Dunedin, pop in there and get yourself some popcorn. Pop in there, no <laughs> pun intended. No she pun did. intended. She just said I it. didn't pop even in try. There. Pop in for the popcorn. <laughs> yes, pop in for popcorn at Harley's. It was really good. Yeah. Yeah. I went to one like that in Old Town. In oh. Kissimmee. Uh-huh. Yeah, they had this, this same concept. Mm -hmm. they had, well, they, here they had it kind of like uh, like ball candy, like those tubes on the wall. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Ah. So there was all the different ones right there. Oh my gosh, that looks, I bet that looks really cool. Yeah, it looked really yummy. Yeah, <laughs> very yummy. I like it. Did they have any gross popcorn? Like something that you want? I can't remember. I do have pictures, um, and I will share it on my, uh, my Let's Talk Tampa page, so you'll see. You can decide they for come, yourself yeah, they come if there's out anything some, that sounds gross. Some funky stuff. <laughs> but from what I tried, I tried the caramel apple. It was really good. I tried the salted caramel, of course. And then I tried, I did not try the buffalo wing, but I did buy that one. Buffalo so, wing one? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Wow. So, yeah. It was they cool. They got a peanut butter one? I think they did have a peanut butter one. Peanut you know butter. what? I'm going to go back and get a peanut butter popcorn for you for oh, next yeah. time. Our next, next podcast. There you go. <laughs> you gotta go back out there to the even yeah. this week? Yeah. Oh, I love it over there. I don't know for sure yet. Let's we'll see how the you week goes. Um, yeah, I've got a couple that are looking over there. Dunedin's popping right now. Really? So, yeah. It's just a great area. They've got a great downtown. It's uh, right by beer the water. <laughs> yes, they both. Yeah. Because yeah. that's the brew capital of the world. It is. Yeah, they both are beer. into brew the nightlife. So, we'll see how that yeah. turns out. But. I'm excited for that. So it was cool. It's a cool town. Cool. Yeah. I haven't been. Uh, I haven't had any clients want to go out there. Yeah. Need it's, to find yeah. some beer drinking clients. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start an ad on Facebook for craft brew people. That's all I'm gonna target. There you go. Craft brew people. I Dunedin, like it. Tell them. Yeah. yeah. Tell them about Dunedin. We'll have to do a podcast from one of the craft brew places. Don't hey. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. we got Cigar City right over now, now that we broke this deal. <laughs> yeah. And Copper oh Tail. Copper Tail is even closer. Oh, Cigar Copper City. Tail Brewery. That's right. That's here in Tampa, right? It's right down the road. Oh, okay. From here. From the factory. That's awesome. What other breweries are down here? I don't know. Oh, they got a bunch. They got, yeah. they got Angry Chair. Oh, Angry and Chair. Yeah, Angry Chair is okay. right up here in Florida. Okay. Uh, actually, there's a few up there in Florida. Huh. But there's a lot of a lot of craft brews. Really? That's gonna be a whole episode on its own. Yeah, we should definitely do an episode about that. Oh, that would yeah. be interesting yeah. for sure. We can sample them all. It'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, That'll goodness. be an interesting episode. Yes. Um, you like beer craft beer? Not really, but oh. I'll drink it. <laughs> well if I'm drinking this, um, yeah. <laughs> we'll sw we'll swap. You you'll have to we'll participate in that because yes. This isn't my uh It's not your forte here, this champagne mixture here. Yeah. I'm right. drinking it, but it's uh I'm sure you're gonna switch to beer soon here, so they're, they're, yeah, sooner than later. <laughs> oh my god. Well let's get into our main topic for today's episode. So today we're gonna talk about realtor safety, and this does not just apply to realtors, it applies to basically anyone who's looking to buy, sell, or even, you know, trying to be a for sale by owner. Um, you definitely want to keep yeah, in mind. Yeah, physicals, you know, they don't 
they don't think about that. No. They, this this topic alone, they don't think about mm -hmm. when when they're deciding to sell on their own. No. So it's uh, it's something that you know think about. It. Like, yeah. You're letting strangers, people you've never met, into your home. Right. Whether you're there or not. Yeah. You know, maybe you're maybe you're there and it's a direct threat. Maybe you know you're not and mm -hmm. they hide in the closet or something and pop out. Mm -hmm. or whatever. Uh, anyway, or they could steal some stuff. Yeah. Actually, um, this one and she's still trying to she's still trying to sell it for her own. But she's oh, wow. she's a prospect that uh -huh. I've been working for a little while, and she's like 86. Oh, okay, no. so her but her daughter's helping. Her daughter's I mean still like 66. Uh, you know, so yeah, they're still vulnerable. Yeah, and they're women. You know, so. But what what happened was they had a. They got a combo lock, oh, gosh. and okay. they were going to use the combo lock mm -hmm. and, and let people, you know, give them the, the information to get in. Right. So they did, and they had some stuff left there uh, that they hadn't gotten out yet, like some surround Bose surround speakers. Oh no. Yeah, because I when I talked to her recently, she said that they had some people had stolen <gasps> the the Bose speakers oh, and. Uh, awful. Something else, I think a fur coat that was left behind. Oh my gosh, who steals a fur coat? Uh, yeah, right, if you're in Florida, I mean, I don't I know. know. Like, but it's but that's the risk you take if you're going to try and sell your house by yourself and let yeah. people come in and out, especially if you're not there. You don't know what's going on. So, you know, even if you have cameras, you have to forewarn people that there's some, you know, recording devices in the home. Right. You know, so... But I mean, I, I go. You're lucky. That's all. That, you know. I, now they're not using the combination combination lock. But yeah. still, the the daughter is going over there and, and bringing people on a private tour, and she's even you know promoting that. You know, call me for a private oh, no. tour. Right. You, you, know, you, you don't know. Who's, yeah, you don't know who's going to call you and pretend to be interested in buying a right. home, but really they have malicious intent. Yeah. You don't know. You're gonna, yeah. You don't know what's going to happen. So it's like. You've got to be careful. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, even for realtors. Mm -hmm. you yeah. Know, if you're a realtor out there, you um, have to be careful. You know, be very careful. And situational awareness uh, is the biggest thing. Like, know your surroundings. Mm -hmm. Take a take a bit. Don't take but two seconds to look around. Right. And, you know, and if something don't feel right, yes. then abort. Yes. <laughs> Get out of there. Just abort. Yes. Get out. Like, mm -hmm. make the phone call. Do whatever you gotta do. You just uh, never go know. to a neighbor's house or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you never know. Or carry protection. You know, whether that be mace or pepper spray, or if you have your concealed carry permit. Mm -hmm. You know, you always gotta protect yourself because you're walking into vacant homes and you just don't know. Yeah. There's something in there, or someone in there that can. And if you are going to carry, like, train, like, learn how to carry. Yes. Learn how to carry it and use it so it doesn't get taken from you and used against you. Right. You know, know what you're doing. That is because, a good point. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's not. It's not. It's not enough to own it. Yes. You know, you got to know how to, to how use it and be it. prepared to use it. So, right. and, like, this stuff you got to think about. Right. Like, way uh, ahead of time. Yeah. Well, we got a phone call coming in here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll say I um, recently, within the past couple of weeks, um, in the uh, Tampa area, I was in a really nice gated community. Um, I was with some clients, a husband and a wife, and they wanted to see a beautiful home. Um, you know, had a great uh, listing price on it. You know, you would think off the top of your head, this would be something that you know, it's no problem, you're gonna be fine. But we pulled up to the house. Again, it was supposed to be vacant, it was a foreclosure. Um, and there's a car in the driveway. And I thought, oh gosh, maybe someone's here. So I tried to call the listing agent and they were out of the country. So um, I said to the clients, I said, I don't know, you know, what you wanna do. I don't know if there's someone living here or squat, possibly squatting here. You know, there's a car in the driveway. I can't get a hold of the agent. They still wanted to go inside. So, you know, we just were very careful. But to be honest with you, I was very nervous. The, the entire time I was looking at all the cabinets, you know, you hear stories about people hiding inside of closets and cabinets. You just never know. Even in a nice neighborhood, 
or a perceived nice neighborhood. You just don't know what's going to happen. I think there's an option now uh, on your um, showing time, is it on showing time app, that mm -hmm. where you can, it's here on showing time app, but it's a super app where you can actually say that you like put a button that you're going in. Oh, okay. And when you come out safely, you can um, hit oh, it again. Oh, that's a good idea. Or, or some, yeah, there's some, huh. there's something, on, I mean, I've never used the feature. No, I'll uh, have to look into that. I haven't needed to. Yeah, but, now, yeah this one had a, just a generic lockbox from Home Depot on it. So well, a lot of places yeah. I've been going to lately have just combination, little yeah. combination locks on it. Yeah. Not even like, you know, the good ones. They're just right. like three number Yeah, that's boxes. all it takes. Someone, the wrong person to get your code, and then now you've got people have access to your home. Yeah, and there's no, uh, nothing's being recorded. Right. Right, so. Yeah, nothing, because with the Supra, which is what us realtors use, you know, it's a very expensive device. It's a very expensive app that we maintain every month. And it records who's coming in your house, what time they came in, and what time they left. So you know exactly what's going on at your own house, even when you're and it has there. to be a realtor. And it has to be a realtor. So, you know, if you're just going to throw a lockbox on your house and try and sell it yourself. No, it's a bad idea. It's just it's scary. Just, yeah, yeah, it's a bad idea because, I mean, maybe that person, oh, but I trust that person. Uh, you know, you who knows, know. maybe he wrote down the combination on mm -hmm. a piece of paper or something and it fell out. Who knows? Uh, but that combination can get out. It's not like you're right. changing it every time. So, yeah, uh, yeah I, you know, I, I think uh, it's a, that was, that's a bad idea. Yeah, I think sure. this is a bad idea anyway, but... <laughs> yes, you, know. you should always probably defer <laughs> to an agent. Yeah, that's, uh, that's yeah. the thing. But, you know, and people don't realize, I mean, they always think that, well, you know, why am I paying you so much commission or whatever? They think they're paying us a lot of commission. Uh, you know, the fact of the matter is, you know, you are, you know, th just this alone, you know, you're you're that buffer in between. Yes. You know, you're protecting them in more ways than, mm -hmm. than one. Not only monetarily, right. uh, making sure they get the most out of their home, but also mm -hmm. their, their safety. Right, exactly. Because before anyone comes to see any of our listings, you know, we talk to the agent. What you know, what's their name? Are they pre-qualified? You know, you're, we're not just going to let anyone into someone's house because again, that's somebody's house. So we try to protect it. So. And another lady that is, was trying, she was trying to sell us Fizzle, but mm -hmm. she's like, oh, well, it was Hunter's Green, so it's a gated community, mm -hmm. the guard gate. So she goes, well, there's a guard gate. I go, well, what about the people that already live here? Right. You know, and she goes, oh, well, what do you mean? I go, have you been on the uh, registered sexual offender list? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because yeah. You just you, never you don't, know. They're in your neighborhood, okay? Mm -hmm. that, that's the reality of it. Right. Or even if someone's coming to visit someone, or, you know, someone yeah. has access to this get is. through the gate, you know? You just never know, so you yeah. want to be careful. Even the guard at the gate, what's he getting paid, you know? I mean, <laughs> honestly, You like, just don't know. You yeah. just don't know. Um, another thing that I've run across, and I don't know if this is because I'm a female, so I worry a little bit more probably than you do, um, oh, but... <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time I was in Great. Temple Terrace, and a lot of the homes are older, you know, 70s, 80s, so they've got a lot of walls and blocked up rooms, and you know, it's like a maze sometimes going through some of the older houses, they don't have open concepts. So I went to preview a home for a client who was out of town, um, and I went by myself, and it was an open door property, and I don't know if you're familiar with open door, but all you, need, yeah, <laughs> all you need to do to get into an open door property is have the open door app on your phone and anyone can have it. Doesn't It's not just restricted to realtors. You hold it up to the lock and you hear choo choo and it opens up and you go right in. So I didn't know, what am I walking into? What if someone's hiding in here? What if there was squatter? You just never know. And I was, my heart was beating so fast the whole time. I'm walking down these hallways and you know, looking around my shoulder. You just don't know. I will say I did jump last week because I wasn't expecting somebody to be at a showing. That I, it was a realtor. Oh it was a realtor, but yeah. like I went to literally, I went to um, I went to open the door, uh -huh. and all of a sudden it's like, she opened it. Oh my goodness! Uh, yeah, it was a big, big lady. Oh so my goodness. you know, I was like, whoa! Yeah. You I, just weren't expecting yeah. it. You no, know? I wasn't expecting. So, and you're a guy, so you know, hearing that.
makes me yeah. feel a little better. I mean, I didn't run around, I didn't run away crying or screaming <laughs> for help or anything, but it just, you know, it took me off guard. Yeah, you just don't, you just don't know. So. Yeah, so I wasn't, you were not expecting it. Right, right. You don't, you, you don't think about careful. it. You gotta be careful, yeah, so. Last one thing you, you want to remember if you're a realtor, make sure you have some protection, make sure someone knows where you are. Sometimes if I'm going to certain um, homes on certain times, even like later in the evening where, you know, it's more likely where it's dark outside and something could be prone to happening, you know, I'll text someone, hey, I'm at this address doing a showing. Mm -hmm. If you don't hear from me in X amount of time, you know, right. maybe, maybe call. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a good, that's a good, you know. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah. Maybe even have them call you anyway while you're in there. Mm -hmm. You just say, you know, they ask, are you all right? Just, yeah, just you to make sure. A, have a code word. Yes. Don't say, no, help me, come and get me. Yes. You know, have like a code word, you know. Yes. Whatever it is. Exactly. Uh, it could be anything. Just, mm -hmm. you know, peach knot. Whatever. <laughs> that could be your code word. There we go. And like Italian <laughs> meals. Yeah, and then they know, oh, okay, you know, that's an emergency. Wrong. Yeah. yeah. Something, something wrong. Yeah, but if you don't have that, like say it's in the middle of the week and everybody's working, you know, whatever, uh, go by a neighbor and knock and just say, listen, I'm showing the house over here. That's a good idea, you I never know. thought it's not, that. It actually does two things. Yeah. I mean, now you've introduced yourself to the neighbor and right. you're a realtor, mm -hmm. you know, so you, you know, made a contact. Right. And say, I, you know, I just want to let you know I'm going in the house next door. Yeah. Or two doors down, whatever it happens yeah. to be. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just wanted you to be aware in case uh, something goes goes sideways. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, if you're yelling, God forbid. I mean, you just yeah. never know. And another thing is, with, like with open houses too, you don't know. I mean, if I, we were talking earlier. You know, anyone can walk mm -hmm. into an open house on the weekend. Or, yeah, nobody's getting registered then. Right. Yeah, because it's own. just people coming to see the house, and a realtor's there. And I like the team thing, like having somebody there with you. They, you should. I mean, I've been to a couple where the girl uh, was in there by herself. Mm -hmm. And, and mm -hmm. there's multiple people walking around. Yeah. I'm like, this isn't a good, this isn't a good right. idea. You know, yeah. at least have a, a, a friend or, yeah. if you don't want another realtor there, have a, a mortgage person there. Right. Or, or something. It's a good idea anyway. Yeah, do a buddy a system or something. Yeah, because yeah, you never know. We were just looking at a news story. Someone. Uh, a female was working in an open house, and some guy came in towards the end, and he hid in the, what did he do? He hid in a closet or yeah, something? Yeah, and, and hid in the closet. Yeah. Everybody left the open house. She was going around locking up the doors, and, you know, he jumped out. And, uh, so awful. So, uh, I believe he raped a murderer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. See, yeah, those so are the things you have to think about. It's awful. Yeah. I mean, realtor, realtor safety, it, it happens. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what I just see, I saw it, um, I saw a thing that said that the guy had a diary, a convict, oh my had a God. diary with 200 realtors' names in it. Realtors. No. Like, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, specifically, yeah. like targeting realtors. Targeting realtors. Yeah, because, you know, we do a lot of advertising as realtors. We get our name yeah. out there, our phone numbers out there. You know, you just never know. So you've got to be careful. And again, if you're selling your house and trying to sell it by yourself, you've got to be careful. Mm -hmm. So take every precaution you have. If you have an alarm system, activate it. I've been to many, you know, showings where they have an alarm and they can remotely turn it off before we walk in and reset it before we leave. Um, so I haven't been to one of those. Yeah, I've been Convict to a, diary. Oh diary. Two hundred realtors information. <gasps> I don't think he, I don't think yeah I don't think he was uh, no. interviewing them to sell a property oh, or anything. So. Oh my goodness! You know you just never know. You're walking into people's houses. And he was he was convicted of attempted rape of a real estate <gasps> professional in a model home. For That's another thing. You know builders. You know the their builder reps work in model homes, and there's maybe one maybe two there every so often, you know, you just never know. Well, at the, the model homes, mm -hmm. like the new, new builds? Mm -hmm. I think they have cameras right there where you walk oh, in. Oh, you're right, they do have cameras. Yeah. I forgot it's about that. Safer. Yeah, so it does make it a bit safer, yeah. yeah. 
Well, I mean, that's the, the camera's not going to really prevent anything from no. happening, but I mean, it's more of a happens at the right. afterwards. It's a deterrent, that's for sure. Yeah, they said this this guy's truck, they found ropes, chains, guns, mm -hmm. and duct tape. Wow. Also found his diary with, and computer with very specific plans for his victim that he had been working on for five oh months. Oh God, there's so many sick people out there. You've got to be careful. I think a lot of times too, at least, you know, most people, we have our gut intuition. I know if someone calls me and they just don't seem right over the phone, I'm probably not going to go and take them out to look at houses. Right. <laughs> you know, you, and uh, buyers or sellers, they usually have the same questions. So you can kind of tell, you know, someone's been doing their research or, you know, the yeah. concerns that they've mentioned to you. So we pre-qualify them, you know. Right. Are you doing it as a physical? Right. I mean, I, I yeah. Yeah. You know, you got to, that's a whole other, that's a whole other story for mm -hmm. another day is getting pre-qualified, but. Yeah, anything else on, on our list here as far as um, realtor safety? Well, I think we went over, I mean, they got it laid out here. Uh, keep it light, obviously, you want to go, uh, mm -hmm. you don't want to show a home in the dark. No. It's kind of tough in the winter, though. Oh, you're right, yeah. Because, you know, 5.30, it's already mm -hmm. pretty pretty dark. That's so true, that's true. That's a little a little tougher, but at least make sure you got lights, bring a, bring right. a flashlight. Oh, that's a good one. You get one of those little tactical flashlights that are really bright. Yeah, like a keychain flashlight or something. Yeah, that's a, yeah. that's good to have on, yeah. Um, checking in, which we, we spoke about. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Don't be too public. What's that one all about? Uh, uh, this one's a tough advertising. one. Advertising. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Just like we said. <laughs> limit the amount of personal information you share. Right. All right, and this I spoke to... Um, Andre about the other day is uh, because there was a realtor that had some pretty provocative oh, pictures no. up on their Instagram. Yeah. And that's like that's probably it. not. Not that you can ask for it. No, I know it's yeah. not. It's not their fault still, but right. I mean, you know, don't do that. I mean, they're it's they're just kind a way of to just get more attention from yeah. you. Yeah. Probably the wrong people right. who have might have ill intent. So. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that was a good idea. No. So. You know, keep that, keep the, yeah. keep the provocative uh, stuff. Right. You know, you don't right. see me walk around with my shirt off. No. <laughs> <laughs> picture. Another thing I tend to do everywhere I go is I always look around and find like the nearest doorways and where the exits are, even if it's not in a house, if it's in a restaurant. I always try yeah, to check. Yeah, that's situational and, you know, awareness. You have to just. That's like, you mm -hmm. know, that's common. I mean. My grandpa used to always say, he goes, well, if you're going to the movie theater, the first thing you do is look for the exit. Right, exactly. You just got to be so careful. Yeah, you got to know that situation. That's just basic situation mm -hmm. awareness. You know, you got to scope it out. Right, yeah. Um, touch base, which is what you said, like you're telling somebody that you're going to do this, mm -hmm. schedule it. Yep. Um, this one's about open house safety. We know if it's house, it ain't over till it's over. Mm -hmm. Don't assume that everyone has left the premises at the end of the open right. house. Mm -hmm. Check the rooms cautiously. Yes. Uh, and hopefully, if you're, you're with another person, mm -hmm. don't go together. You would think go together. Right. Yeah. Somebody, <laughs> should, somebody should be the lookout. Somebody should person. be a little bit, a little bit behind. Yes. You know, Mm -hmm. uh, where they can't get both of you at the same time. Right. Somebody has a chance to run away and get help. Yeah. Uh, stranger danger. Ooh. Tell clients not to show their home by themselves. This is like yes. the Fizbo. Yes. Uh, alert them that not all agents, buyers, and sellers are who they say they are. That's, That's right. where our little pre-qualification yeah. process mm -hmm. goes, comes in. Um, Self-defense skills I see on there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, actually. I feel like maybe um, here in Tampa, GTAR is the Greater Association, or Greater Tampa Association of Realtors. Maybe sure, they can do that. some self-defense <laughs> classes for all of us. They do. You know. well, oh, they do? Well, I don't know if GTAR does, but uh, like I was out at, oh, what the hell was the title company? The title company in, uh, God, I can't remember the name now. Mm -hmm. It's escaping me, but they, they have, a, a realtor safety actually it's an accredited oh. it's accredited oh. 
post lace crediting, uh, continuing education credits for, I think it was like four hours. Oh, wow. Four CE hours, so. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'll have to look into yeah. that one. I gotta think of the title company, though. Well, I'll, when we find out, we'll put it below. Yeah. In the, uh, under the video, because that is something I would definitely be interested in. I, I don't always up. feel comfortable yeah. carrying certain things with me. Um, you know, I am a mom. I have little ones, so, you know, I try do to. You have, do, do you have some, uh, some skills? I don't, fists, I don't know if fists, I have karate skills. I can figure fists, it out really quick, though. The fist of fury. Yeah. What's the fist of fury? Uh, that means you know how to throw a oh, throw a I don't know. jab and I did hook. do karate when I was like seven. Oh shit! So. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. That karate. Oh my god! That's why one of the things they tell you, like Krav, Krav Maga, is the one to take. Krav Maga. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's like the most useful self-defense. Yeah, for, for yeah, for real okay. life situations, and it usually is a it's a fight ender. Okay. Oh, fight ender. Mm -hmm. Does that what does that mean? <laughs> that means it's just uh, like Someone's end the fight. It's, there's no goofing around with a whole bunch of like oh, gotcha. you know stuff you see in kung fu movies or whatever. Yeah. It's just like you're going for a weak point, and, yeah. and so you can get out of there or oh whatever. It'd just be. It's just. It's Fine Whether under. it's a throw punch or yeah, okay. <laughs> a like shot it. to the uh, baby makers, <laughs> whatever it is, it's <laughs> it's over. Done. Yeah, you're out. You're oh safe. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I will look into Krav Maga for sure. Yeah, there's one out there. There's a small one in Wesley Chapel. Oh, is there? Yeah. I feel like I've seen this before. I'm sure you have. Yeah, maybe I'll have to do that. Throw so some, uh, some of my ladies in with me. That way, down yeah. fifty six. Okay. Yeah. Krav Maga. It's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Oh yeah. So. Yeah, especially if you're mm -hmm. going to be a realtor and be on your own. Yeah. And uh, you just never know. Yep, self defense. So, you know, there's some. I mean, there's some things like it don't matter how old you are, but there's some situations where, you know, you're just going to be at a big disadvantage. And that's right. where you have to be pepper spray. Or right. Yeah. Something else. Uh, you know, in co I remember in college, in my sorority, there was one girl, <laughs> this is totally off topic, she got in a fight, and she was smart. She had her high heels on, so she took it off, and she used her high heel to just, I don't know, bash somebody with the pointy part. So I've always kept that in mind, not for, not for getting in fights, but you know, you never know if you're going to a dangerous situation. There you go. You have a weapon right there, ladies. Your our, our high heels. You know, poke someone. The high heel. Poke someone's eye out or something with that. That's why. That's what I tell <laughs> my kids to do. Just poke someone right in, in between the eyes. Take them out. You know, you gotta be careful. <laughs> You've gotta be real careful, especially as a woman. So. Yeah. Um, so we're opening the beer. We yeah, I gotta wash this thing down. We gave up. <laughs> yeah, on well, the I, 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 you know. I gave up. I didn't see you like really measure the. the I did not. Peach. I think it barely even tasted the peach. I, did I not think measure. I tasted all this. Uh, what is it? Prosecco. The prosecco. Prosecco. That's good though. I like it. Yeah. It's all right. Good. Champagne. Wow. Well, not much of a champagne guy. <laughs> but uh, this says wear your realtor ID. I mean, this is something mm -hmm. I I don't know. I I don't do that. I do see you take the wheel on there, and I'm assuming that means you're. No. Nope. Oh yeah. Bring your own car. I have done that before where I've taken clients with me or I've let the client drive, but I'm very particular about who I allow I, that situation to arise yeah. with because not only could they probably shouldn't. Yeah, I probably shouldn't, but you know, I try to use my judgment, but yeah, again, we're women, we're people pleasers. So it's hard. It's hard to discern when you're in the moment until it's too late. So I mean, maybe if they get it. But even still, even when they got kids and all that, who knows? I don't know. I know. You just never know. Something like really crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been in any situations that made you nervous besides the, the recent showing? First of all, that didn't make me nervous. It just, <laughs> just, it just startled me. I just startled. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you were scared. <laughs> no, I, I told you I wasn't scared. I'd go run away. Oh. But, uh, you know, I mean, we, we go into some, like, sketchy areas sometimes, uh, especially, like, if you're working with an investor uh, that's, you know, looking at depressed areas. 
and then for a house they can flip or, or whatever. So, yeah. you know, I'm, I, uh, I prepare for that. Yeah. Yeah. You have to you know, be but the, 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 like I said, the thing, you have to be prepared. Right. Be prepared to start to think about what you would do in this situation if this was to wake her. And that's what I do all the time. I'm right. always thinking like, okay, if this happens, I'm gonna do this. Or, right. You know, and I even think about like where I'm parking my vehicle, what I'm, yes, you know, what I'm doing. Um, yes. I, you know, I, I think about that stuff. Mm -hmm. What if there's somebody in there squatting? Right. Uh, what, yeah. am I, you know, yeah. what am I gonna do? That's another thing. I never park my car in the driveway because I don't want someone to come block me in, and then you're stuck. You know, right. someone's trying to hurt you. Yeah, I see people do, do that. Yeah, wow. all the time. So I see. I, the, the lady, I went to one. Uh, God, it was an open house. It's almost it was a little while ago. Mm -hmm. But she, she actually parked in the garage. Oh gosh. Of this property. Oh no. Parked no, her car no. in the garage. Yeah. Oh I mean, your only escape at that point is just you running, know, yeah. running down the street. So, yeah, that's, that's kind that's of... Not a good idea. I mean, I, I think her thought process was that people aren't going to see that there's a car there. I, I don't know what her thought I process was. I mean, yeah, was. but park down the street, that's what I typically try to do. <laughs> yeah, at least park in front of the... Yeah. In front of the house. Right. You know. Or park in front of the house. Don't Under the light if it's nighttime. Right. You just don't know. So, again, I don't know. What do you think is your best tip as the far best as tip? Uh, tip? something maybe that might not be as obvious to us? I know probably most realtors and most sell sellers and buyers probably think about these things. It's always good to have a reminder. But, um, you know, maybe something. Well, this is actually from FloridaRealtors.org, this, this whole list that we're talking about. Okay. And this one says, choose flight over fight. Now, okay. I, I don't know. <laughs> it <laughs> depends. I think it depends, like, big time. I mean, people are flight or flight. They're a lot more, Right. you know, I'm more of a, you know, I, I'd rather fight because yeah. I don't want somebody getting behind me and... Uh, getting the drop on me, so I'd rather just, but yeah. uh, even if it's just like, you know, if you're a girl, no, I mean, you girls, smack a guy and you run, <laughs> or yeah. whatever. I will, I will run. I will not fight. I will flight, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> just get out of there where you can yell and scream and someone can hear you. That's uh, the most important thing. I don't like relying on uh, that. Somebody... <laughs> crying for help or whatever somebody just hoping somebody hears you i mean you gotta do that if you're a girl right. i guess but at least start them somehow you know yeah that's them in true. The yeah maybe try and take them down really yeah quick. just or whatever just mm -hmm. to get you know sometimes that's what you need to get space because right i mean the guy can you know, right. reach and grab you by your hair real quick right yeah that's why i always try to wear my hair down i remember you know, if you're female, you're wearing your hair in a ponytail, all it takes is someone to grab your ponytail and they'll pull you right back. But when you're down, it's not as easy to grab. So, so nobody can grab mine. No, yeah. <laughs> there's no chance with you. Nobody can grab my hair. Uh-uh. It's not happening anytime soon. See, yeah, that's it. Thinking before. <laughs> oh my gosh. I told you, think before. Yes. Uh, Kurt, is this other Anything stuff? Anything else on there that pops out to you? I feel like I've probably pretty much covered everything. Yeah, a lot of their stuff is some of the stuff just about like um, protecting the, the money and, and stuff like that. It's not really mm -hmm. about personal safety. Right. Um, yeah. And, uh, your email and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I, I did have one situation. I, I will tell you this. Mm -hmm. I mean, not that it made me nervous or anything, but I knew right. the guy was like, just like, uh, like not yeah, <laughs> yeah, something wasn't that's, something wasn't that's right. Scary. I had run an ad, you know, on. Um, works or something like that uh -huh. so it's like a google one and he must have found my number on there oh, no. and yeah he started texting me and at first so like i'm like so yeah you know are you interested in this house or what right. so he starts asking me stuff and then he's like you know we should go um hang out sometime or whatever oh, and this and gosh. that and i'm wow. like yeah i'm like no that ain't gonna happen i'm 
like, no. listen, do you want to buy a house or not? Like, <laughs> is this like got anything to do with real estate? <laughs> trying to make friends. You know, I did actually have something like that happen to me too a couple months ago. I had someone who, you know, uh, tried to, you know, say that they were going to buy and maybe sell and they kept wanting to meet up for coffee or lunch. So, of course, you know, I'll talk to anybody and give anyone information, but, um, Thing that I noticed is that when I mentioned to my husband, the conversation kind of went downhill. And so then I went home and I logged into my MLS and I checked his search that I had set up for him and he had never ever logged into his search account. So really? that's when I realized, okay, that was not the right intention. So. But do you don't think he, I mean, you're probably right. And I've never heard from him. Spidey are going off, yeah. but. Like, I've never heard from him again after that, so. You could have been looking on like Dill or something like that. Maybe, like, I don't um, know. It was a very specific scenario. But very, so yeah, very, 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 very. It's nothing you can probably find on Zillow. So, um, it's too, it's too, it's too, it's you gotta be careful as a female for sure. And a male, apparently. You might have some uh, friend, <laughs> friend searchers. Well, won't be the first time that, you know, hit him <laughs> by a guy. Maybe you'll make a but, friend. Oh, there no. you go. No, I was like, uh, no, this, I had a block. I, I, the dude kept texting me. I mean, oh, I had a block. No. I had a block. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, sometimes it's just the last resort, so. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. No, it, it, it wasn't one of my time, though. Yeah. Well, luckily, because, I mean, our info is out there everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Everywhere. I mean, we're paying to put it out there. Right. And yeah, so, yeah. It's a dangerous you're, you're job. Gonna, yeah, you're going to. You're gonna walk. Somebody's gonna see it. You just hope it isn't John Wayne Gacy or <laughs> somebody like that. Somebody with ill intent. Yeah. Oh, all right. So well, Sam. You know, um, that was a little um, a little scary to talk about, but I think it's something we definitely need to mention. So. Yeah. Don't and, and don't think just because you know we're making jokes or whatever uh, and, and saying things, it, it's serious. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and we know it's serious. Right. So, just be careful. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants uh, anything to happen, like an occupational hazard like that. Right, yeah. Happen to you. No. For sure. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, I don't know how we even go from, from this to something else, but um, let's move on. <laughs> Try to move on, at least. Um, again, protect yourself. Um, so let's hop into some events going on in the Tampa Bay area this weekend. Do you have any plans? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, of Tell course. Me. <laughs> I'm going to a party tomorrow. Well, a watch party for nice. uh, the first day of football. Oh, is tomorrow the first day of football? Well, I mean, technically Thursday was. But oh, okay. Football really didn't start that day. In case you watched uh, the, in case you watched it, you know uh -huh. that. It was still like preseason. I don't know. That, oh. that, that game don't count. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that game. So what's the game? It, it still hasn't started. Oh, Tomorrow, what do we mean? What's the game? There's a lot of games. There's oh, like the whole okay. NFL is playing. Tomorrow. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Except for the two lousy teams that played Thursday night. Oh. What? Who was that? <laughs> Green Bay and the Bears. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Green Bay and Bears. I think they're pretty interesting teams. Don't know interesting. I mean, I know Green Tell Bay has the cheese that. head. Interesting. Right? Oh, yeah, I guess that's yeah. interesting. And the Bears of Chicago, right? That's the Bears of Chicago, Bears. yep. Chicago's a great <laughs> city, you know. The Bears of Chicago. <laughs> hey, I'm not a football person. <laughs> the Chicago Bears. <laughs> well, so who's your team? I'm a Giants fan. Giants. That's New York, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yep. Okay. The Giants of New York. The Giants. <laughs> <laughs> the Giants. So who are the Giants playing tomorrow? The Giants are playing the, the Cowboys of Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> How's that gonna go for you? Because I've heard those Cowboys of Dallas are pretty good. So. Yeah, you, that explains your knowledge. No, they're, they're not very good. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> they're um, terrible. Maybe I'm a couple decades behind. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're, oh you're, you're, you're a couple decades. It's older than, I don't even think they've won in your lifetime. <laughs> I just remember that so, movie, Little Giants. Do you remember that movie from the 90s? Yeah, Little Giants. With Devin Sawa, all of my uh, teeny buffers. Is this your, <laughs> this is where you that was your the football allure. knowledge from? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they had the Dallas Cowboys it, uh, people in that movie, some of the players. People? 
<laughs> those cowboys people. <laughs> yeah. Oh They're God. people. Yeah, those people. Alright, well, I'll say go Bucks. Because we live in Tampa. So, who are the Bucks playing tomorrow? The Bucks of Tampa, huh? The Bucks of Tampa. Who are we playing tomorrow? They're, they're playing, uh, who's the Bucks playing? Oh. Mm. Who the hell are they playing? Well, I will tell you. I'm I've got a list of all the events coming up here this weekend. Well, a few. Um, and one of them is the Tampa Bay Bucks kickoff tour. Um, that's happening actually today, which is Saturday. Um, at American Social from 3 to 9 p.m. So if you're interested in rooting on the Bucks, there you go. That's your spot. Where? Uh, American Social from Ooh. 3 to 9. It's Tampa Bay Buccaneers kickoff bar crawl. So, mm -hmm. and who are we playing tomorrow here? 49ers. Okay. Up San Francisco. The 49ers of San Francisco. <laughs> and who do you predict? Who do you predict is going to win? Oh, I think Buccaneers got a good, good shot okay. at this one. I think okay. Bucks, uh, I think Bucks by... All right, well, we'll see what happens. Bucks by 10, maybe, maybe not. But that's, you know, when is this other one here? This is when they play the Giants the 22nd. Oh, that's going to be a big one I think I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to try and be at that game. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah. I usually do I've been to the last three times they've been when they were here. Oh, that's fun. That's a great stadium over there, too. Yeah. James. All right, well, so otherwise this weekend, um, non-sports related, we've got the Tampa Firefighters Museum. Um, they're having an event this tonight, Saturday, from 5.30 to 9.30. Um, I cannot remember what it is for, but apparently it's going to be a really good one. <laughs> I can't remember what it's for. It's so, for firemen. It's for our, our firemen, who we appreciate so much. Um, and then I've also got the Seminole Heights Sunday Morning Market. That is on tomorrow, Sunday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Southern Brew and Winery. So if you want to go check that out, that sounds like fun to me. I would probably stop by there, pick up some good, um, mm -hmm. you know, fresh fruit or food trucks or whatever they have over there going on. Sounds like a great time. So Food trucks? I'm assuming. Like okay. Most of those places do. But there's a lot of good restaurants down there in Seminole Heights too. So You, you eat uh, food trucks? Sometimes, regularly, yeah. yeah. Do you? I have. Okay. Uh, a couple times. Uh huh. Not often. No. I think I had the the donut, the donut one. Yeah, donut. A donut uh, food truck. Yeah, the little donut guy that made them like fresh donuts. Ooh, that's Yeah, fresh donuts good. are good. Yeah. Like, and they make them, you know, uh, with all kinds of interesting toppings, toppings and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I had like a maple and Ooh, bacon or something that like that. Good. Yeah, I would eat that for sure. And there's another one, well, Taco Bus. Have you ever been to Taco Bus? Yes, I've been to Taco Bus. Yeah, what do you think about They're not even all uh, food trucks anymore. No. They've they got like actual sit down yeah. like, restaurants now. Even That's though a good one. one. What's the other one? They got Hillsborough or whatever. That mm -hmm. one has a whole little courtyard now. It's oh, all set up. Oh, cute. Oh, Taco Bus. Taco you Bus is taking over there. Tampa. It is. Taco Bus is They're a good one. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm not a taco eater. So. No. Oh, you're not? No. Oh, oh, I love tacos. Um, I know there's one in, in uh, North Tampa. I think it's called like Bacon Boss or something. Bacon Boss. I really want to no, try that one. I always them? look for that food truck and I cannot find it anywhere. They've been in my community before. Oh, they like do? It, yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, they have every, well, they, they haven't been having it over the summer because uh -huh. I guess they, they, they stop it, but they should be starting it up again. Oh my God. Well, you're going to have to let me every, know like, there. Every once a month. Over. Yeah, once a month they have them and he oh was there, Bacon God. Boss. I've been stalking this food truck for like a year now. <laughs> well, that's like my daughter was stalking the, the donut one. <laughs> and it, it, it finally, it was at the, the oh. because they always have different ones. Yeah. Well, there's one that like maybe keeps coming all the time, but uh -huh. they usually like swap them out. Oh, really? And, uh, yeah, yeah, she'd been, she, she was literally like oh. to the point where she was, she seen it like driving down the road. Yeah. And she's like following it to see where it was going to stop. So like she can it. get some She's donuts. Determined. Yeah, hey, well. I mean. But she finally, it was like at our uh, community center. There you go. Stock up and, on those donuts while you can. It, it, well, yeah, they're expensive donuts, though. Oh. But they're usually that's the same with uh, the food truck food. It's kind mm -hmm. of expensive. But the burgers at this, the one, if you want good burgers, mm -hmm. uh, 
the burger one, it's at, now they park at the Harley Davidson dealer at uh -huh. Dale Mabry. Okay. What the hell is it? Burger Nation or something like that? I don't know what Ooh. the hell is going to But those burgers are legit. Really? They got one with peanut butter. Oh, of course they yeah. do. <laughs> yep, they got one with peanut oh butter. My God. They got one with like avocados and. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. I think they got like a, some bacon, you know, something with bacon. See, bacon, yeah. you know, yeah, bacon's bacon, peanut butter, bacon, peanut butter. I, like, oh my you gosh. figure out a way to get bacon and peanut butter. There you go. Game over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go for all the with your bacon and your peanut butter. Game, game, game over. Oh my god. Oh, all what right. Else you well. Got? I think that's it. I think that's all we've got for today. That's um, it. Yeah. Nothing else going on. I know, on. but we still have our, uh, well, I have still have my home model of Prosecco, so I'm very excited about this to continue <laughs> my Saturday. You've got your beer. There you so, go. This is it. This is the last beer that was in there. Yes. Um, and it's Bud Light um, again. We better hit the, uh, the the fresh market in Seminole Heights and get some more beer. Yeah. So next year, maybe next week, I'm bringing in some New England. There we go. We're going, you got good. Uh, what'd you say? Then eat in. Yeah, maybe I'll pick up some craft beer for you next time I go over there. And popcorn. Six pack of uh, okay. something with peanut butter. Peanut butter. Okay, peanut I'll see butter. what I can find. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for joining us today, everyone. We appreciate you listening and watching. Please share yeah. um, our podcast with your sure friends like and subscribe. family. Yes. What I about what, what about upcoming episode? What do we got coming up? What do Anything we have good? coming up? We have a guest next time. We, we had Ooh. a guest today, but they, you know, made you know. plans to go to the beach or whatever. So we got shafted for the beach. <laughs> so next episode we'll I'm have a guest. Home. Hang tight for that and see who that we is. We got an awesome guest yes. next, next week. Uh, Some great topics coming up. You've got me thinking about, uh, gosh, I can't remember what it was. Something about food. I'm always thinking about food. So we'll definitely need to do an episode food. on a couple different restaurants around oh, here. Yeah. And I don't know if they can see. Do you see uh, yeah. this? We've got, We've got a full kitchen We here. can have a kitchen show. Yes. Uh, and I would love to do that. Network show right there here. There we go. Food Network in We got Tampa. convection even in, I don't even know why the ovens are so far away, but in the other room, there's convection ovens. Ooh, like okay. Expensive, like real, like high end. Oh, like, yes, there are some beautiful ovens in there. Ovens over there. Yeah. So maybe ovens. we'll do a little cooking uh, demonstration next time. I yeah. love to cook, so I'm down Even to the do microwave, that. look at it, it's a magic chef. I mean, that's an old like GE or whatever, magic chef is. It's like good, good high quality stuff. Okay. Show the, we have, well, we have a. a well, we'll have to do, maybe we'll do beer a tour. On tap over here. Let's do a tour of our facilities here at Factory yeah. 14. We'll do that. Um, that would be really interesting for We'll do that with Andre when okay. we have him on. Okay. A guest. Oh, Sounds like a plan. I think I let the cat out. <laughs> <laughs> and, anyways, if you want to be a guest on our episodes, please contact us. Um, our contact information is on our Facebook and Instagram mm -hmm. page. Um, which is the This Is Tampa podcast. Um, Facebook.com is This Is Tampa. Right. Um, and then if you want us to, to, to do an episode and feature your restaurant while we're doing an episode, we'd love to do that too. So again, please contact us. We'd Especially love to if support. there's food involved. Yes, food <laughs> and drinks. We'd love to yeah. support small businesses, support our town, our city. So yeah. um, reach Just out to us. We'd love to do that. No, uh, you know, no weirdos. <laughs> no weirdos. <laughs> no weirdos. Oh my god. Yeah, don't, you know, this is, it better be about this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, on that note, we're getting out of here. Thanks for watching and for listening, and we'll see you guys later. Yep. Bye! Bye.